companies pay dividends to shareholders. The question is, how do they arrive at a figure? From a high-level perspective, this involves determining the amount that can be distributed and then dividing that amount by number of outstanding shares. To do this, click in C4, amount available for distribution, divided by outstanding shares, hit enter. In this particular case, company will be paying 40 cents per share. But the question that you might be asking yourself is, how does a company calculate net income available for shares? And the answer is that a company has to look at a range of factors, for example, the current economic environment, whether the company has any big projects in pipeline for which they might need money. In, in addition, the company might look at its strategic direction. The idea here is to understand the concept. It's very easy, but you might want to try it with other techniques such as percentage changes that I've discussed in my previous video. You might want to take earnings per share for number of companies that you might be interested in investing and analyzing the dividend they're paying to help you decide which one would yield more income to you.